Well, I think this thing is actually going now. Yeah. <laughs> it took uh, almost 20 minutes to update everything and, and uh, get everything going. And I'm not exactly sure how to uh, get that little thing out of the way. I don't even know what the hell that thing is for. But, uh, okie dokie. Um, this is uh, a testing of uh, this thing since it wasn't working earlier. I decided to go ahead and uh, and uh, see exactly what this thing is going to be doing and I think I can um, get the text working now oh, this is a pain in, pain in the boote I think there's uh, one person watching, <laughs> and I thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this little thing here, I can't get rid of that. It's kind of annoying. I think there's uh, one person watching, <laughs> and I thank you. And I'm getting feedback. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And, and uh, yeah, this little thing here, I can't get rid of that. And you can hear my kids it's back. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I'm still trying to figure things out, if anything. Uh, oh, this is just so slow. Okay, um, I don't know what picture people are seeing. Uh, they're seeing uh, some of the books. It looks like it's uh, delayed about there. And uh, <laughs> OJ for hire, what's up, dude? Uh, Keith Gregory, hey. I finally got this uh, thing working a, a little bit. So um, I know I only have uh, four people here. And if you have any questions about uh, the law of self defense, uh, any clarification that you guys would like, um, go for it. I am uh, going to be here for about 10-15 uh, minutes to do this, so um, this is just kind of weird doing this, but everything's kind of slow and backed up, and and uh, I, I have all these windows on top of my, uh, my window screen, and it's just... Uh, kind of a annoying kind of a deal. Um, currently, I guess a lot of people are interested in the insurance programs, and it's not necessarily insurance like USCCA, CCW Safe, uh, Safe, uh, Second Call. There's a lot of uh, uh, things out there like that. My understanding is that the NRA is going to be making uh, some headways in that. So if you are an NRA fan, they're going to have their own product. It sounds like uh, these things are are really starting to um, get a lot of money and the lawyers are just circling around these uh, membership for concealed carry. And in the grand scheme of things, if you don't have $350,000 to do your own um, investigation and get it going, this is something like the average Joe probably really needs to have. Um, again, I am a CCW Safe member, and just because I'm a CCW Safe member, doesn't really think uh, matter about uh, um, that. I it's just good for me. I just think uh, 100. And, I think it's up now 130 dollars, and the first 48 hours is what they really do. Yeah, OJ for hire, uh, go for it. Um, if uh, you do not have um, an insurance 
I, I use my quote if you don't have that insurance kind of thing uh, going on um, it's probably best for a, uh, a, um, a person you know an average Joe I don't know if uh, you're a millionaire uh, OJ uh, <laughs> I know the real OJ isn't a millionaire anymore but uh, that's probably something that um, um, you may consider. I, again, if you guys have any questions about uh, self-defense or the clarification of self-defense, it's kind of like chat. It's kind of like uh, uh, you drive a truck and carry it all over. Yeah, concealed carry and, and trucking is uh, basically goes hand in hand with everything. You're going to need to know <laughs> a lot of things um, about. Uh, um, Carrying in all in all separate states. I don't know if you uh, go up into the northeast or not, or 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 where exactly you are from. But uh, one thing I do know is that um, at least the commercial vehicle cops, if you will, um, they go out of their way not to go into your uh, into your cab. Um, it it seems like uh, they don't want to deal with that at all. They'll probably just stick their head in there to see if all the gauges and stuff works. But um, I, it would be kind of interesting to know, uh, OJ, um, I mean, how many uh, concealed carry permits do you have in what part of the country that you uh, go um, in? In Cali now, not legal, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I totally understand that. I lived in uh, Southern California. Uh, 18 years or so and before I moved back to um, to Minnesota and even the uh, the uh, California Highway Patrol I know they're pretty lazy um, they uh, they they do not want to get into your cab uh, I know that for a fact um, I used to work around the uh, the Ontario truck stops a um, long time ago and um, I actually had a lot of friends who were California uh, police and um, it's amazing you hear stories of from these guys and um, they're they just chase that adrenaline rush that's what they do is they go around chasing uh, that adrenaline rush uh, with girlfriends um, um, at coffee shops and, and rest stops and and the gambling and the alcohol abuse and and I, I wouldn't want to be a California uh, highway patrol officer. I actually helped a one um, not too far away from the the uh, yeah they yeah they don't they don't uh, check the other uh, cabs ever. Um, I actually helped a uh, an officer one day. Uh, the, it was building up and I was on my way. Um, to uh, yeah, it, was, it was somewhere around Ontario. I don't remember what it was. It was, it was a long time ago. And all of a sudden, I see this uh, this motorcycle cop just getting the tar knocked out of him. Um, and it, no one was helping him. He just got a bunch of sheep looking, you know, stopped at the side of the highway. And um, I got out, ran to him, and uh, helped the guy bring him back down. And yeah, I just wouldn't want that job in the world. Okay, Keith uh, Gregory, if you upgraded to an apex, <laughs> an apex trigger. Sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, um, in your your gun, can the court say you modified your gun and hold it against you in court? Well, it doesn't. This is going to be very um, very specific. And if it is a good shoot, it will be a good shoot. If you modify your gun, especially with pull weights. Um, if you have a a case that is kind of weak, it could be um, you you could be made accountable for that. So again, a, a good shoot is a good shoot if you use it in self defense. A if you meant to pull the trigger, it was a good shoot. They're not going to be bugging you. Where modifying um, equipment on your gun makes a problem is very simple if you have some kind of wart in your case the prosecutor is going to use that modification to make you look bad in front of the jury they can do this all day long um, it doesn't matter and if you know especially I, I've been a, on a California jury 
they're broccoli stocks. Um, it's grandmas, soccer moms, and the con con chronically unemployed who are on juries. They are not your peer. Um, they are just not your peer, and you do you do not know how they are going to perceive um, information. There's a uh, there's a lawyer. Um, and it happened in, in the the Zimmerman case, where they try to browbeat uh, George Zimmerman for carrying around in the chamber, and then all the broccoli stocks on the jury goes, oh, he has a round in the chamber. That's dangerous. So you don't know how the jury is going to uh, to do it. I want to follow by this also. If you, I don't know what an apex trigger is. If it is a lighter, smoother pull, or pull on the trigger. If it is too light, and if it was an accidental shooting, that's what you're you're opening yourself up to. Um, in an accidental shooting, you want to be, you want to give yourself a robust um, defense. You want to carry the the narrative when it goes to court. You want to be uh, have no warts on your case. So when the prosecutor comes to your case and it goes over the facts, again, if you ever go to court, um, the lawyers are never going to be arguing about the law. They are going to be arguing about the facts. Oh, okay, yes, it is a lighter. If it is, uh, if, if there's a bell curve, let's just say it's a Glock, and I'm going to be making up numbers. Let's just say it's a Glock, you change the Glock, and you have a bell curve. Um, and... Uh, a majority of the the um, the the apex trigger pulls at let's just say four pounds, and on the high side it pulls at four pounds four ounces, and the low side it, it it pulls at three pounds six ounces. If you are on the lower end of the bell curve for that particular trigger, um, it could be held against you. Not it's 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 not illegal. It's not against gun laws, but it could make you look bad when you're trying to control your own nar narrative. I'm a big fan of not changing anything on your gun, and that's just me. Um, I'm not you, um, so you can do what you, you need to do to survive the fight. But there's so many different brands out there. There's so many OEM uh, guns out there. Find the OEM gun that is ready-made, that has been vetted by bunch of gun people where the prosecutor is not going to have probably um, ammunition uh, for you to make a soccer mom the broccoli stocks on the jury to make you look bad that is a long answer but um, a sound one national reciprocity um, I actually think it's, it would be a good thing I'm not exactly sure um, I, I'm, a, I'm a true believer. See, again, you're in OJ, you're in California right now. I lived in it for 17 years in California. I only had my uh, California permit for uh, um, 35 days before I moved to, uh, to Minnesota and, and had to give it up. <sighs> National reciprocity would be great for, for New York, Washington, D.C., um, California, um, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island. You know that kind of thing. I I get it, but I really believe that this should be a state thing. Um, maybe it'd be bad to have the feds involved. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it'll be better or worse, um, especially if you have uh, a state constitutional carry, which Minnesota is trying to to get um, state constitutional carry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure on, on really how I feel. Again, I will always fall back onto it should be rele relegated to the states. But when you, you live in California, uh, New York, Washington, D.C., um, Maryland is horrible. Um, so I can re I really understand where where that is coming from. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. Let a few uh, holdout states just stand on an island. Yeah, California swings a big tail. You know, they're almost the tail wagging the dog these days. And and um, you know, uh, we'll see with the, the new justice uh, coming in and 
and um, let's see what um, he's going to do with uh, San Diego versus Peruta um, for the good cause requirement, and that that should fail, should fail on every um, on on every power. So I'm I'm going to see that. So. Um, I see there's uh, three people watching right now. If uh, you have any questions, or more questions about uh, self-defense, uh, self-defense law, I'm just going to be here for um, a few more minutes, and um, we can go from there. Uh, one of the things that uh, people have you seen the new Wilson Combat EDX X9? No, I haven't done anything with Wilson Combat. I wanted to. Uh, uh, at one point, I was thinking about uh, my Brenna M9 and turning it into a Wilson, a Wilson um, and turning it into an F variant where it is a decocker only. I know, and you know, you heard my my thing about changing guns before, making it prettier and that thing. I'm not exactly sure um, if I want. It'd be nice to have that gun and you take it to the range and you you know you show it off to, uh, like my son. I think he would really get a thrill on a Wilson Combat, but no, no. I haven't seen anything about the Wilson Combat EDC X9. What I am excited about is, and I've never done this, is I actually um, uh, put money down on a CZP10. Yes, it is a gun that is not proven um, itself, but uh, I, I will usually wait at least three years before buying something like that. But I'm just a CZ pig, and um, I, I would really uh, want to go that way. Um, I, a lot of people have been talking um, about uh, stand your ground, and um, again, stand your ground. All it means is that uh, you have no duty to retreat. And um, some people believe that you can just sit there like a, a stone pig, and someone's wrong me, and and I'm just going to stand my ground because he dissed me. Well, in some states like Utah, it's called a soft stand your ground. We're in it if if it is so outrageous that you didn't move uh, for some reason that the finer fact the jury can um, yeah I don't know anything about Oklahoma I uh, well let me finish my th thought for a moment squirrel um, the finer fact can uh, can consider reasonableness if if your actions were so unreasonable that you're that you just stood there like a stubborn mule the finder of fact could consider uh, that not being reasonable unlike Texas where Texas has a black letter law of, of a hard stand your ground state where the finder of fact cannot do that um, yeah Oklahoma I don't know does uh, do you cover a lot of ground with Oklahoma um, I have uh, I just renewed my um, Utah, um, I will be sending away for my uh, Arizona here shortly. That's due in two months, and then my Minnesota needs to be renewed in um, in July sometime. So those are I, I used to travel a lot, and those are the reasons why I had. Well, back in the day when you're going to get a, a, a concealed carry permit in California, you need to, to build your street cred. Part of the building your street cred is getting permits from other states. Um, Utah, um, Arizona, and Florida are very easy to get in, in California. So when you go in front of the board and people are looking at you and say, why should you have a concealed carry weapon permit in the state of great state of California? Well, here's my street cred. Here are these other permits. And if these states give me a permit, it's going to be much difficult for them to give you a, uh, a permit. Um, there's a couple more people uh, watching right now. Um, my name is Jeff Straub with the Castle Tutelage. What I do is I specialize in in uh, making self-defense law simplified, where it doesn't make you intimidated um, that if you're ever in a use of force event, you're not going to feel intimidated by it, where you can get through the physical fight to get to the courtroom if you have to and, and fight on from there. So if you do have any comments or questions for me um, in the next few minutes, um, go for it. If not, I am going to uh, 
take a shower and uh, go to bed and wake up in the morning and do some more. Cali, Mass, Connecticut, Maryland, D.C., Jersey, New York, Oregon, not valid. Yeah, I, Oregon, You the only way to get a, a, a non-resident Oregon is if you have a concealed carry uh, with a, um, a state that surrounds it, like Washington, what... Um, uh, geez, uh, what, whatever states I forget right. What a Wyoming, California, those are the states that uh, they will only uh, issue you uh, for it. So that's kind of weird uh, when Oregon does that uh, to you. New Jersey, <sighs> who would want to drive a truck through D.C. and New Jersey and Maryland, and Connecticut, Massachusetts? I used to live in Massachusetts, but that's a uh, another story. So that's that's pretty good coverage for one permit. Uh, and you really can't improve. Or you really can't improve upon any of those. Really, um, the only thing that you could probably improve on is a is either a Vermont or a New Hampshire, and you might get some of those uh, states up there. But it's been a while since I looked at that. Well, uh, again, uh, the guys that uh, um, made some uh, uh, questions, I appreciate it. OJ for hire and. Um, uh, Keith Gregory, I appreciate uh, your, your participation. It made, uh, you know, my I have a very small channel, and it's kind of like um, I'm preaching to the choir. But uh, you guys that have already been um, with me for a very long time or a short time, you you guys are already going to have your questions answered if you if you go through my videos. So, again, uh, my name is Jeff Straub. Um, this is Castle Tulage your home defense network and uh thanks for uh tuning in good night guys